Hey there, Rotan here. Two days ago, I uploaded a video discussing Blizzard's changes to the X45 Heartbreaker mount and the drop chances. In that video, I said this. Keep an eye out later this week for a video discussing every Love is in the Air achievement and how to complete them quickly to get the Love full title. So today, we're going to be covering half of the achievements necessary for the Fool for Love achievement, which unlocks the Love Fool title, and it gives progress towards the year-long meta achievement to get the Violet Proto Drake. After that, I'll show you how my runs for the X45 Heartbreaker mount have been for these past two days. So the six achievements we are going to be covering today are Charming, Shafted, Flirt with Disaster, Lonely, The Rocket's Pink Glare, and Be Mine. In my next video, I'm going to cover the remaining six achievements in order to get the Fool for Love achievement and the Love Fool title, so subscribe to see that once it goes live. Starting off with the achievement Charming, we need to create 12 lovely charm bracelets. First, visit the seasonal vendors in your capital city, talk to Kui Q Petal Feet, and get a lovely charm collector's kit. To make a bracelet, you need 10 lovely charms. You can get these lovely charms by killing any enemy that yields experience, or is your current level. I found the fastest way to do this at level 70 was to farm the gnolls in the Azure Span, since they spawn fast and have high mob density. Alternatively, you can try and farm other areas like the Nokudon Hold, especially if there are world quests or primal storms happening there simultaneously. Once you create your 12th bracelet, you get the achievement. For the shafted achievement, buy 10 silver shafted arrows from the lovely merchant, equip them to your bar, and go shoot players around the main cities. After 10 shots, you're done. For the rocket's pink glare achievement, we have a very similar tactic. Buy the 10 rockets and equip them in three separate bar slots. Spam these buttons while left clicking and you have the achievement after 10 rockets. For the Be Mine achievement, we'll need to eat a lot of hard candies, so buy two bags of them and open them completely. You might get all the candies you need on your first bag, or maybe it'll take a few more. For me, I needed two. Eat all the candies inside, and there's the achievement. Flirt with Disaster is an annoying achievement to get, as some of the items worked and others didn't, and me and another guy actually had to help each other complete it as it just wasn't working as intended. First, buy a handful of rose petals. Then head to an inn or a bartender and buy a lot of alcoholic beverages. I chose this frog venom. Then get yourself the victory perfume item either from the event dungeon or from the lovely merchant. Now head to Undercity to find Jeremiah Payson, located here. Do these next steps I say in this very specific order. First, drink all of your alcohol until the chat box says that you're completely smashed. Then put on the victory perfume. Then use the rose petals on Jeremiah and then use the slash kiss emote. If all goes well, there's your achievement. If you follow these steps in order and you're still not getting the achievement, then just switch up the perfume item that you're using and try it over and over again. Eventually, you'll get it. The last achievement that we're going to be covering today is the achievement Lonely. You'll need another player for this one, so bring a friend or ask in trade or general chat. Buy a picnic basket toy and a box of chocolates from the lovely merchant and head to Northrend Dalaran via the Orgrimmar portal room. Open your box of chocolates and hope that you get a buttermilk delight. Use the toy, have both players click on the basket, and while you're both sitting at the picnic, eat the buttermilk delight from your inventory. And there it is. So that completes the six achievements we're covering today for the meta achievement Fool for Love. Pro tip, for the achievements that we're going to be covering in my next video, the petals and chocolate sweets will still be used, so keep those handy. So how did my mount runs go for these past two days? Well, here's the results. At the time of recording, I'm still down one character for today because of the fact that the character is bugged and says that I can't queue for the dungeon. I've already submitted a ticket for this. But as you can see, not much exciting has happened and still no mount for me. Well, that's it for me today. If you enjoyed what you saw, feel free to subscribe, and remember, there's going to be a video coming soon to complete the rest of the achievements. Take care.